you know what I'm saying, and he started for the team, then you got a freshman come along and he's close to being as good as them, uh-huh. they're going to start the younger guy because now they feel like we got more time with this young dude, you know what I'm saying, whereas the other right. guy's on his way out. You know, they don't really care about the players individually and they don't care about developing the play. All they really care about is what they can do for them in their program. You know that, so you, 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 you play football, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Oh, and Truck D said all those four- and five-star players that go to Alabama and don't get to play like they wanted to get. Uh, he, said, he said, like they want to get what they deserve. That's what they deserve. I uh, said, that's what they get for trying to all go to one damn school instead of spreading it out. That's what, that's what my whole point was. Spread it out. You know, because you, know, you look at this right here. It's the top 300, right? And out of the top 300, at least 200 of them are five-star players. So this is my thing. I look to see who five-star player, which five-star player in my position. It's just like you break down the fucking cars when you look on CarMax. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You try to find the yeah. red car. You want the red car. You want the car to that. And you try to break it down, right? You break down and see which back's going where and what schools is left open. That I can go and help out. Yeah, someone, trust me, was a little harsh on that too. I don't want to. I, 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 it's hard for me to put blame on a 17, 18, 19 year old kid for believing what some grown ass man tell them to get the <laughs> to come to their uh, to their program. Because you know another thing, like Chuck is saying, okay, yeah, well they trying to stack up one team. No, a lot uh-huh. of times these coaches and these recruiters they try to keep them from going to their competitions. Right. You know what I'm saying? So they can keep the competition at a standstill, and that's what they end up doing. So uh, I, I mean, it's hard to sit there and blame the 17, 18-year-old kid. <laughs> hey, I got to address um, team broadcast, right? He said, Chief, is that's why you left Ohio State? Question. I'll wait. Laugh out loud. Plan town, huh? You got that right, um, team broadcast. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't just that, man. I When I went to Ohio State, I wasn't recruited there for no football or nothing. I went there on a hurdle scholarship, Right. And I just got a tryout because I had speed, and my cousin played when Archie Griffin played. So he was cool with Woody Hayes, right? So I got a tryout. So when Woody Hayes did what he did to that Clemson player in the bowl game my freshman year, then I went on ahead and played that next year, and Earl Bruce did not promote none of Woody players. He brought in his players along with some players that, you know, uh, they got paid to play like I'm getting ready to get on that one right there microwave they got paid to play you know what I'm saying uh, they got paid to be a player anyway I put it like that so I left when I left man I didn't think about going to school I left to go make money man and that's what I did I've been working every since you know but Art Sleister to everybody out there Art Sleister was a freshman when I was a freshman going to Ohio State his father paid Woody Hayes and the athletic director and the president of the university money for his son to start. Because his father was a very rich man, right? That's why Art Sleeter okay. came out the way he is, right? They had, Ohio State had an all-American quarterback that was a brother named Rod Gerald. Look it up. 1978, Rod Gerald was changed from quarterback to wide receiver. Now you tell me, that's when I started knowing about uh politics in the game and also how they didn't respect us as our talents and what we can do. You know what I'm saying? So that was a prime reason right there, another prime reason for me leaving Team Broadcast because I didn't like all the bullshit. They had they had they had a player out there that couldn't read. Couldn't read. And he started. So Hey hey I got a question for you, Chief. Yeah. I noticed uh, somebody. I noticed somebody missing in the chat room, and I I, I was fucked up last night. So uh, I'm assuming we won that series against the Red Sox. Oh yeah, we did. Oh well, yeah. Oh, he ain't coming in, man. Uh, and, and also, his his football team got beat by the Giants um, uh, Friday night too. You know, he ain't got nothing to say, man. You know, but we got celebrity in the house. I'm gonna introduce the celebrity and whatnot. Damn, guess who probably been in the room, but the chief just seeing her step in the room. Kabow! We got my lovely lady from out of Portland, Oregon. We have Tiffany from PNP. What's up, Tiff? What's going on? Ooh, it's Countdown. Yeah. Countdown to TDSS3. What is the day today? Is the fourth. We have 25 days. 
Damn, why didn't you let me finish counting, man? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to help you out, man. <laughs> I was trying to help you out, man. You know, I'm going to take a bad radio moment. I ain't want you to fall down there that fast either. Yeah, you know what? Um, um, uh, you the one got the damn hangover, but shit, it feel like I'm hanging over. Um, Tiffany said, good morning from the city of Rose. Hung over like a mug. Bear and I went in on a half a gallon of Jack Daniels. And she ain't say Jack, honey, or gentleman Jack. She said the regular Jack. I hear you, baby. Yeah, You're a trooper. You know, if you know, let, man, let me tell you, man. Saturday, me and Georgia Peach, man, we went to a freaking wedding. I had like three Hennessy's there. Damn. Uh, she might have been full. Then we went. Uh, checked into the little hotel room. Then we went to the bar. Probably had like four or five crown apples there. I don't even think I drunk no beer that night. Uh, yeah, man, I, I, I was out of it all yesterday, man. I was out of it. We got back to the house, man. I stayed in the house. I didn't do nothing. I didn't want to do nothing, man. I think I left the house yesterday to get some roll up, and that was it. Yeah, yeah, damn. Yeah, uh, so we both we both got faded. She just did a, a lot better at recovering. I got three chances. No food. I got three chats I want to read, and we're going we're gonna to talk about, because you're going to be on here for a minute. We're going to talk about some things. Uh, 334 Bama said, I hope Texas lose every game. Let's see if this dude on the hot seat after uh, one game like they did Charlie Strong. Uh, let me see. Thorny said, I hope Texas have an awful season. Sluggle says the same thing. He said, Texas got that ass whoop. Hashtag, that's good. Um, it's one more um, that I want to read. Uh, oh, said Galloway say guess there's guess they're saying Charlie Strong didn't recruit well enough for Herman to win that the game that game. And, and the thing about it, Herman brought some of his players in there too. So it ain't like you know he was dependent on Charlie Strong players. Even though Charlie Strong players, they all from out of Texas, so they got to be good. And um, Team Broadcast says exactly, Chief. If all about, it's all about killer instinct. Texas had not had it in the past few years, and that's why Charlie Strong did not win close games. The team will, the team, uh, the team still does not have the killer instinct. Maryland is trying to compete. They have no choice, no tr no really no choice or chance in the Big Ten. So they're trying to win all the games outside. But they may after that game against Texas, they may have a little chance. But Texas is supposed to be what? They supposed to be good this year you know, compared to the art sayers. You know? Oh, and to everybody out there, I must read this right here. The uh, Kesey said, is all y'all going to TSSS3 registered? Um, yeah, if everybody out there, if you ain't registered, uh, Kesey going to be putting in there, him and Slugger going to be putting in what they need to be putting in here, you know, for TDSS3. So, uh, as you check out the chat, look and see what's going in there. And um, please register if you're coming. But we need to have a head count. And we have another celebrity in the house. Bam! Guess who stepped in the room? Cabal! Out of Selma, Alabama. Right? We have Ash Squatter. Feel it? Yeah. Ha ha! We have Milk and Cookies. Denise is in the house. What about Denise? Uh, Michael, where the cooking this shit? <laughs> ah, where <weird>, they at? <laughs> oh, oh, oh! The uh, the other game that I said that um a team from the DMV won was Howard beat UNLV. Big up to Howard, man! Give it up for the HC Bay. Ah, HD Bay. Ah, yeah, yeah, man. But anyway, man. Uh huh. Howard beat um UNLV. UNLV. Yeah, okay. That's what's up, man. That's definitely what's up, man. But um, yeah, man. Uh, you know, NFL game may start this week, bro. You know, uh, I guess we are the platform to start that conversation up. Being that it's Monday, game start Thursday night. Two games. You know, uh, what you feel, man? Games on Thursday. Yes, yeah, two games Thursday. Uh, yeah, man, I'm hey. excited, man. It's, 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 look, it's the time of the year where we do most of our work. You know what I'm saying? We don't we don't miss too many shows. We get to arguing, we get to yelling, the streaming, the spitting, all of that stuff, man. I love football season's back around. Um, I'm really excited. I think our division 
is going to have a lot to say on the shape of the NFL this year. Uh, of course, you know, NFC East used to be the champ for a long time, man. You know, our division always always had the best team collectively. But uh, the NFC South has had something to say the last couple of years. So we'll see, man. We'll see, you know. Uh, it, it's about time that we piss off all the Falcon fans, you know. And, and, and that's what we do. The, the Falcon fans, the Cowboys fans, don't like watching the football thing evil. But Buster Bus is cool. And Griff is cool, too. But I, I can't stand their team. It's about that, it's that time of year, man. I'm loving it, man. I'm yeah. loving it. Oh, okay. I'm going to get with you right away. It's one more public service I forgot. Um, I got a, a call from my girl, Z Mullins. Uh, we need to start getting that bowl of money in, man. We got to have that bowl of money in by Thursday or whatnot so I can register the X-Squad team and the TDSS3 going to have a team, which it is enough people over there to have a team, but you can't put your name down and don't send no money in. So we need the money for bowling right now. Because I got to put this in because uh, she got to have everything in her computer. So when you come to the door, your name is there. They check your name off, give you your little band to put on. And you go in there and get your shoes and everything and go bowling. So we got to have that bowling money in. So everybody that's bowling that night, please get your money in to KC this week so we can go ahead on and make this thing happen. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the, yeah, that's for uh, that's for our team. The other team for the TSS three team is forty ahead because they only got eight players. We got ten because we are uh, we in a more VIP thing because we're uh, advertising our brand. So we are into a, a yeah. more VIP type of situation, you know. So that's the reason we paying more. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, get that in, man. And to get back on you with this NF uh, the NFL, yeah, man. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to I'm not looking forward to the Thursday night game because I got to fucking work and I can't bring my phone inside the job no more you know so because I would be able to look at the games on my phone and, but I can't bring the phone yeah, and that's why I'm at off to Thursday uh, and I like to apologize to people that have shows on Thursday like KC I think Jahani no Johnny's on Wednesday like KC whoever got shows on Thursday I, I I like to apologize. I can't listen to your show. I got to go to the replay because I can't I can't have my phone inside no more. So uh, I wish y'all can change our shows from Thursday to another day. Because you know I like to patronize them. Even though I go back, I like to listen to them live. Even though I have to go back and listen to them, you know, outside of live. But um, yeah, you know that's what happens. So I hate Thursday games, man, because they got two on. Even though they only have one a week. But they're going to have two on this week because that's how they started the NFL off. They got two Monday night games. So that means Sunday is going to be a light schedule. Uh, uh, well, Sunday, yeah. Sunday is. Well, we got, yeah, we got, so that's four games. Yep, between Thursday and Monday. And I don't leave us that many games left. But, hey, hey, you heard about, you heard about the man, Brock Osweiler, man? Oh, man. man. You know what, man? That's the most ridiculous shit I ever... Now, first of all, Denver need a, a, a buster and a, a, a foot up their ass, right? Um, the two quarterbacks that's there need to be now looking behind their back, you know, because they're looking for that knife to come now. Because if you're going to bring back a quarterback, even though he's not going to be getting paid what was given to him, you know what I'm saying, yeah, before yeah. he got cut. No, the uh, gotta pay Cleveland, you. Cleveland got, yeah. Cleveland got to pay. I'm saying Denver don't have to pay him that contract. I'm they not, just got to. That's Denver. the ultimate thing ever. Like, you got rid of $17 million from, from a bum. You got yeah. rid of him. Fleeced him to somebody else. Probably got draft picks out of the deal and still end up picking him back up when the other team comes. Yeah, that's. Uh, that's and I know folks are going to start to say, yeah, Captain Nick. Like, I, I already said it. I already told y'all, man. Kaepernick is done, man. It's, it's over. It's over for him. Yeah, yeah, if he doesn't yeah, play this season, not going to get picked up again, and, they, and they, they're going to make an example out of him. Period. Yeah, you know, um, you know, the sad thing about this whole thing is, right? The Ravens went and picked up a junkie out the street, the quarterback, and didn't want to bring Cap in there. Miami owner wanted Kaepernick, but when the other owners start giving him them phone calls saying you better not bring him on you know what I'm saying he didn't really want to say 
that's what happened, but you know that's happened. They called him and told him, you bring them on, you're not part of our social, social life. 